Hello folks, although we are more than a month away from the announcement of the Galaxy S24, almost all of its hardware specifications have leaked already. Now it's time for One UI 6.1 features to be revealed. Tipster Benit Pruna Pro has leaked several One UI 6.1 features and posted their pictures on X. Among those features is an AI-powered wallpaper generator, which can create wallpapers based on input. From what it looks like, you can enter the subject's name in the background name and the feature will generate a wallpaper based on those two things. The lock screen will also have the option to add portrait and weather effects. One UI 6.1's built-in photo editor will offer the ability to relocate objects through a simple drag and drop gesture. You can select a subject or object from one image and place it in another image. It also lets you expand existing images in your gallery. For example, you can straighten pictures and the image editor will fill in non-existing details. Samsung Notes will also have a feature that can summarize long notes by turning long text into easy-to-read bullet points. One UI 6.1 can also live translate voice calls from one language to another for both persons on the call. This feature was already announced by Samsung a few weeks ago as the first feature that is powered by Samsung Gauss, the company's first in-house large language foundational model. One UI 6.1 also brings adaptive protection feature that charges the phone's battery to 80% and resumes charging up to 100% just before the user wakes up. The maximum protection feature charges the battery only up to 80%. The Galaxy S24 series reportedly features a new search method. You can circle anything and the phone will search for information about that. While the leak from tipster Ahmed Kwaida didn't explain the feature in detail, it could let users circle any subject or object in an image to know more about it via information from the internet. The stock voice recorder app can use AI to identify identify and tag up to 10 people and convert their voices to text. This is great for anyone who attends lectures or a lot of meetings. A similar feature is available on your Pixel smartphones, however, it needs an active internet connection for transcription. The Galaxy S24 is set to feature on device AI and the ability to transcribe or translate text and voice without an active internet connection. Also, it has been revealed that Samsung will print generative AI to its keyboard app too. One UI 6.1 will introduce generative AI to Samsung Keyboard. Tipster Vedan Kalor found the existence of that feature via Samsung Remote Lab, which is currently allowing developers to test One UI 6.1. As you can see in the video, Samsung Keyboard will have a new option called Generative AI, and you can choose from four generative AI models. Palm 2 from Google, GPT-4 from OpenAI of ChatGPT, Gecko, a version of Palm 2 from Google, and CSC, probably from Samsung. Moreover, it lets users choose from two language translation models, LLM and On Device. The former might need an internet connection, while the latter appears to be completely offline. While it is still unclear as to which capabilities and features these generative AI models will bring to Samsung Keyboard, it is likely that they will empower Samsung phones and tablets with features like grammar improvement, language translation and text summarization. A new leak has confirmed that the Galaxy S24 can indeed let you text via satellite in emergencies. A new screenshot from a Galaxy phone reveals what Samsung might call an emergency texting feature that will debut with the Galaxy S24. It is called Emergency Text via Satellite. Samsung explains that if you call emergency services when you are out of range and not connected to a mobile network, Samsung will connect you via a satellite network so you can send an emergency text. This feature will likely work as it does on recent iPhones. You can send text messages with your GPS location to emergency response teams so that they can find you and offer help. This feature will likely be available on Galaxy S24 units powered by Exynos and Snapdragon chips. Now that Samsung is very close to announcing its next generation flagship smartphone lineup, the rumor mill has moved on to phones that could be released a couple of years down the line. Some wild rumors are out there and some are quite interesting to hear. One of those rumors talks about a possible mini Galaxy S Ultra phone to rival the iPhone Pro. According to a rumor from South Korea, Samsung is considering a smaller phone than the Galaxy S Ultra but with a similar feature set. The combination of high-end specs and a smaller form factor could help Samsung compete with Apple's iPhone Pro models such as the iPhone 15 Pro featuring a 6.1-inch screen. This model could be added to the Galaxy FE lineup and that's where things get confused. If it's an FE-branded phone, there are fewer possibilities of it featuring high-end specifications, especially for the cameras, something Galaxy S Ultra phones are known for. As with any rumor, the report claims 
confirms that no decision has been taken yet on the matter and things could change in the future. The rumor also claims that Samsung will change the design language of all its smartphones after the launch of the Galaxy S25 series. It means that starting with the Galaxy S26, we could see a drastically different design on Samsung phones. The South Korea thumb could also trim down its Galaxy A series, which could mean launching fewer Galaxy A phones. Samsung is reportedly also working on a cheaper Galaxy Fold phone. Currently, there are rumored to be two prototypes the company is working on. One of those models doesn't have an external screen, while the other has a very small cover display. Such a foldable phone is expected to be launched after the Galaxy Fold 6. Anyway guys, I will keep you updated, so subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Good luck to all.